Hello guys and welcome to a brand new little series here. I'm making a sign and I'm using this cutting board right here to do it. This is a bamboo cutting board from Fiberware. It costs about $20 and I'm going to be cutting this in half. In this video I'm actually going to be cutting it in half and you know sanding the edges and stuff and getting it ready. I'm using this little template. It's like a design I guess the plans to the sign I'm making. It's basically just three square blocks that are stacked on top of each other and they're all about an eighth of an inch apart. Uh, this gives me the area, you know, I'm doing three characters, three words in Chinese and this this is just what I'm going by. And what I'm supposed to be doing is tracing this onto the wood, the outside of it, so I can cut it out with my saw. But for some reason I just thought it would be cool to just to draw across the face of the you know the wood the finished product uh, you know cuz I really like sanding things and spending 10 minutes to sand something that you just drew all over you know I, I like doing things like that no seriously on the serious note uh, don't draw on your finished product like the surfaces if you if you don't have to it's not a good idea but yeah I'm just gonna take my ruler now and you know trace all the way around there's Tigger he come hanging out with us He's going to help me out and keep and hold the ruler down with his tail. I just wanted to let everybody know that you don't have to use Chinese characters. If anybody's wanting to try this, that happens to become inspired or whatever, and you want to do it too, you could use whatever language, whatever. It could be words, uh, regular letters and stuff in English. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Also, as far as the physical design of this sign, how it looks, it all varies. It could depend on whatever it is that you need. Me, I went with Chinese, so I wanted to use bamboo because I thought that would just be kind of compatible. And um, as but as far as the materials and the look of the sign itself, that can vary. I mean, vastly. However you need it to look, whatever materials you need, that's up to you to decide. I just chose Chinese because it's it's another culture, it's something different than me, and it, I find them fascinating. I love Chinese food, and and I just think it's fascinating and stuff. Just looking at the words, I don't know, I don't understand them. Well, I kind of do these three now. Anyway, that was that's where my inspiration came from. Is I, I like Chinese, so I thought it'd be cool. Now I'm just using a rotary saw to cut this stuff out. I'm kind of you know cut along my lines. I know this looks kind of crazy because I'm cutting right on the ground, but you can actually set the depth of the saw blade to the thickness of the wood. Also if you look closely here I left an area all the way around it outside the the actual line. This way I can take it on this belt sander right here and smooth it off. You can take a look at the top of the wood at the start of the scene and see how rough those saw marks are from the rotary saw. But dragging it along this you know belt sander and rotating it around it just takes it all out and makes it really really smooth bamboo is a really nice material it's really soft so with a little hand sanding voila here you go this is the finished masterpiece wood it's I know it's just a piece of wood but it's half the art it's got to look good too anyhow guys I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this let me know what you think in the comments below also if you were to make a sign what characters would you use what kind of words what what fonts uh, how would your sign look? In the next video, I'll be doing the clay, getting started on that and stuff. So I do hope to see you there. Um, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up. It helps me a lot, and I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome.